Broadcasting from Studio X in the great country of Texas, I'm Scott Allen Turner, the financial rock star on a mad mission to get <laughs> financial independence, ultimate happiness, and a life full of awesome experiences. Producer Katie along for the ride. If you've got a question like answered on the show, please visit GoAskScott.com. We'll get into some of those in a bit. On the show last week, I had gave you a red alert warning of a car dealership here in our local area, but this is all across the country, if not the world, of charging 25% interest rate on financing a car, which was insane. That's a lot of money. Even the monster mega bank, well, where did my money go? Offers 25% financing on used car loans. 25%? We have got to educate people on credit scores interest rates, borrowing, and the costs, because that is crazy. 85% of new cars are financed. I understand that. I don't really like it, helping people work towards where they don't have to finance cars. Saving money is hard. I get why people do saving money is hard. Saving up for thousands and thousands of dollars for a down payment on a car is challenging. Having a good credit score is challenging. And understanding the true cost of interest rates over time is not something that we are born with, certainly. We don't know this stuff any more than we're born. We know how to use a fork. I've got twins and we're still teaching them how to use a fork. Eat, Scoop the peas. You don't stab them and eat them one at a time. No, no. If you choose to borrow and you do have a choice, choose to borrow wisely and choose to keep more of your money because you work hard for it. You should keep more of it. People with credit scores of 760 or higher get the best interest rates on car loans and mortgages. Since you're going to have a mortgage if you buy a house, why not save money on it over time? It can add up to tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. Same with car loans as well. They can add up into thousands of dollars. According to this website, Value Penguin, a score of 720 or higher right now gets about 4% interest rate on car financing for a new car. At the bottom end of the spectrum, those people with credit scores of 500 or lower pay about 15% in interest. What is that in real dollars? Because when we know real dollars, we make wiser decisions. In real dollars also causes real behavior change in people, especially when you're thinking about how much that can add up to over time. If you're like me, you got your first car, didn't know any of this stuff. My first car loan was $261. Still remember it. The insurance I paid, $240 a month. To help you out there, $261 plus $240 is a money moron. That was me. So I've been there. Here's what a bad credit score costs. A couple examples. We use this same car loan averages about $30,000 today that people finance use five years to pay it off. Uh, the person with bad credit is going to pay $9,000 more over those five years, $9,000 more. It's 12,000 total, but 9,000 more. If you got bad credit, if you're considering extending the loan terms, this blew me away. This is sick. Lenders are allowing people to borrow up to 84 months when it comes to financing. The cost of interest between a 36 month loan and an 84 month loan is $2,500 in wasted money. That's with a good credit score. With a bad credit score, it's $7,000 more. Actually, I was just with an okay credit score, $7,000 more between 36 months and 84 months in wasted money. And have you ever wondered why they do this in months and not years? For one, we can't do math. I, I know I can. <laughs> Scratch my mind. 84 months. I had to use my big old fancy calculator. 84 months is seven years. If you thought about you going to the finance person at the dealership and they threw out, this is going to take you seven years to pay back this loan. Someone might think differently, but if they start throwing months at us, and what do we think of? We think of in terms of monthly payments. 
then we don't think it. It's as long. It's a brain trick. It's a brain trick. Some additional warnings. What happens to often is a person gets underwater on new vehicle purchases. And what that means is average car price, $30,000. You drive off the car lot with it. It's now worth $25,000 because it's a used car. In that nanosecond, five grand is gone. But the person still owes 30000 but they could only sell it for twenty five. Worst case scenario, they got to unload it. They've got to come up with $5,000. They're underwater in that. Get the better credit score, get the better deals. Then you're not drowning in debt, gasping for air. You avoid those situations where you would become underwater. And you can avoid these bad situations by putting down a big down payment. Number two, having good credit and a good credit score for the best interest rates for those people that are going to borrow and having short term loans, 36 months, not the 84 that the bank allows people to get. Recognize sometimes people are in a situation, they get behind on their payments, may have a medical emergency, can't pay the debts or the bills and the credit score starts to fall and they can't keep up with the bills they've got coming in. Those people in that situation, you got to keep your eyes on the prize. Don't let the lenders win. Get educated on this stuff. Don't ever let it repeat. The one thing about mistakes, we try to teach you on the show, A, learn from other people's mistakes because it's cheaper than making your own. And number two, when you've made those mistakes, you recognize them in your own life or those of your loved ones, then you're in a position to not repeat them, which can save you over time. And for most of us, we make mistakes and that's normal. Congratulations on recognizing that you've made a mistake. Avoid kicking yourself. We'd all be doing a lot of kicking. <laughs> so I know I would. Oh, man. I'm not going to think about it. I'm not going to kick. My, I was staying up at the desk and kick myself right now. <laughs> and here's the thing, though. Someday you're going to be in position. Maybe you're driving the junker now. Drive that for a little while and then move up to the, the junker plus. And then that person moves up to the OK car. And then over time, they get up to the place where they can walk in with the checkbook and write a check for the full amount in cash. And then they've got the good car or the great car. And that person gets that question from the relative, the coworker. Hey, did you get a good deal on that? Was that expensive? And then you'll be in a position at that time because of the small, short-term sacrifices that you made for the long-term gains, which are huge. And you can say, yeah, I got a good deal. Because I wrote a check and I paid for it in cash. Hmm. What do you think about that? Brother-in-law, co-worker, friend. <laughs> then you can hold your head up high. Most people got a million bucks sitting in their driveway. Just that compound. <laughs>